Coach Gary Graham joins us on Panthers TV with Jeremiah's Chimney Sisters. And Gary, you've completed the defense today with the signing of Dougie Legrone. Yeah, I'm happy to have Dougie. I mean, we've been uh, we've been working on him for a while. He comes from um, two really good coaches the last couple of years, and Rob Murray and Tosset and Rod Aldoff won a championship in the Southern Pro League in Pensacola, where I had coached. And uh, both those coaches, Rod and and Rob, both do a really good job with defensemen. They've always done a really good job with details, and th those teams play hard. They play the right way. So a lot of times when I'm recruiting guys, I kind of look for the prior coaches because I know the systems that they play and, and what we're going to be doing. So I think there's a lot of similarities there. And um, the, the one thing, too, is both those coaches are kind of no-nonsense type of coaches. So if you can play for those two, you can play for me. And then one of, one of the good things about Dougie, I guess, is that he's already had European experience because he's, he's played out in France. So it won't take him long to adjust to the ice pad out here. No, no. And, and listen, the reason we, we went after him is I, I felt like we needed a smaller, mobile type of kind of Tory Krug type of D-man that's kind of uh, entertaining and exciting to watch. And, you know, he's not the biggest guy on the ice, but he competes extremely hard. He's got a huge heart. And the one thing, too, about, about Dougie is, like, you know, he's a guy that, that, that started at Colorado – uh, college, a D1 program, and he wasn't getting the minutes he wanted. So he went to a top D3 program where he really excelled, was player of the year. And, um, you know, those guys that play division three, they kind of have chips on their shoulders. And, and, you know, I've had a lot of success with good division three players in the ECHL level. Um, these players are always are usually the hardest working guys because they've, they've always been told either they're not, they're not big enough. They're not fast enough. You know, they don't have a bet, big enough shot. So they're, they're kind of like always like these dogs pinned into a corner. You know what I mean? So they're always out to prove people wrong. And those type of players usually work really well with me because that's the way I am. I mean, if you do your background on me, you know, I'm one of the rare coaches that's coached professional hockey that never played pro hockey. There's not many of us out there. And so I've had to prove people wrong constantly my whole career. And, uh, you know, those division three players kind of have that same mentality as me. They're always out to prove people wrong. And obviously, Dougie's that, that last piece, that defensive jigsaw. You've got your seven defensemen now, you know, six plus Archie Hayes will die to be on a two yeah. leads. You must be excited to get to work with that group in you know, we're 24 days away from the first competitive game, but so it's even less till training camp. So it's not long till you get to work with these guys. Exactly. Well, we got a lot of work to do. I mean, because we have such a new team. I mean, like I said, there wasn't, a, there weren't a lot of returners from last year's team. And, you know, the one thing, again, I've been watching a lot of our film from last year. I've had a lot of downtime over the last couple of weeks and, you know, we just were not a good team defensively. You know, um, I was talking last night, actually, to Justin Hodgman, who's in Fort Wayne. You know, he lives here. So I seen him at the rink last night. Uh, my son was skating. I asked him about, you know, the whole Sheffield Nottingham rivalry from last year. And he just said he loves the league, loves everything. But, you know, I asked him, I said, what can you tell me about my team last year? And he's like, you guys just didn't defend, you know, and, and that's that's something that we got to get changed in a hurry. And it's a, a team commitment from the forward group as well. And that's not an indictment on just the D men from last year, because a lot of times our issues where we had our low centermen getting beat back to the net front and losing guys. And, um, you know, we, we had a lot of, you know, easy rebound goals that we gave up around Carsey last year where, you know, if we just would have been in the right positioning and would have picked up a stick, we could have made Carsey's life a lot easier, right? So, you know, we have to get you know, our D zone coverage down. We got to defend with purpose and these seven D will help us do that. And you mentioned that you, you spoke to Justin Hodgman, obviously played for Sheffield last year. That the first competitive game we have, it will be preseason, but it will be a competitive game. I've got no doubts about that one in that in that game against Sheffield. Now you will have obviously heard all about Panther Steelers rivalry. We've spoken about it on the podcast. But to hear it from a guy like Justin Hodgman, like I say, who who has lived it, played in it, has that got you more fired up for that first game on the 27th now? Well, you know, it's it's exhibition. You know, I mean, like, listen, like the reality of it is, is, you know, I tell guys, you know, we want to win every game. But really, you know, for me, those exhibition games with such a new group is just going to be about implementing the systems, the foundation, you know, playing around the lines, trying to find who's got some chemistry. You know, we'll probably have three power play units to try to give a lot of guys different looks in different spots. So, you know, for me, it's it, I always use training camp and exhibitions more of an evaluation standard. However, you know, the group that we brought in will be a competitive group. And trust me, we're going to want to win every exhibition game. So, I mean, it'll be something on the line. But, you know, I think that's where, again, some other teams, you know, around the league, there's been a lot of turnover with different teams. But, you know, you look at some teams, they, they have some of their top lines all back. You know, Cardiff's got pretty much most of their top six guys back. 
Um, you know, you, you, you know, you, you got um, Sheffield with a lot of their top end guys backs, but they got a new cast of characters too. Right. So, and they've done a very good job this summer as well as a lot of teams. I mean, I really like the way the league is looking. I think all the coaches and the GMs have done a really good job of bringing some really good talent to our league. I'm saying it's not going to be long to you over here anyway, guys. So let you get back on with what you need to do. But thanks for giving us the lowdown and Dougie and you know, a little preview of the preseason. And we'll see you very soon. No problem. Thanks, Dan.